Welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I'm working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In previous demo, we have seen how to create Azure Data Factory and related pipelines, data services, link services using Portal and PowerShell. In this demo, we will create Azure Data Factory storage, link services, data set, pipeline using Bicep. So Bicep is domain specific language and it is used for deploying resources inside Azure Portal. Previously, we used to have deployment using ARM template and this is the new version, this is the new language Bicep came and it is very easy to see and visualize, we can use that one. So we will see in demo how it looks like and how we can create using this as the Azure Data Factory storage and other services. So for this demo, we are into Azure portal and we can see our subscription and resource groups. And Bicep is declarative language. Let's go ahead into Visual Studio Code and let's create a Bicep file. And this templates, Bicep template, we can find into Azure. We can start template and other things so that we can find easily. And let's go into this place. And let me put from the template. I have copied the template. So so this is how this bicep file look like so first part generally we have as a parameter we keep parameters and second part generally we assign some variable which we will use in later and then we start declaring our uh, resources in this case if we see the resource we have declared like a storage account then we have declared blob container we have declared data factory and other things right so and in this case parameter we are taking parameter data factor name but we are assigning a default value also that this will be a data factory and it will take whatever resource group we are going to provide that from that id and unique string it will generate and then give us to that this is the place how we can define resources so this resource say hey we are going to have a resource called a storage microsoft storage and this is the version the name will be a storage account name the location will be location and the sq and kind will be a storage v2 now another resource will be blob container which will be like microsoft storage storage account inside blob service and container and the name will be that storage account name slash the default whatever container name we are we are passing as a parameter that will be there next resource we will create using this template in this template the data factory which will be microsoft data the data factory and that version and other things this version is there then data factory name location and uh, identity will be system with the assigned identity and then data factory link services we are creating by default blob storage type will be there it will take from this storage account the name will be taken and it will list all the key from this storage account and take the first value that is what it is doing right now this link service and link service will be there then data set we are creating saying that hey this is the link service it is going to leverage the name will be data factor parent name will be, will be this one so it will create after parent has been created it can't create before that one or at the same time because parent has to be created so data factor will be created then link service will be created and then the this uh, data factory uh, data set name will be there so all it will be created the link service uh, will be created then it will uh, point it to a folder called in input and employee.txt that file we have to upload after once this all this is created and then output data set it will create that will be microsoft data uh, factory factories and data set and uh, other details factory name we are providing data set uh, data set factory output we are providing the link service name and binary copy type will be binary this location will be there that will output into output folder once we have created the linked service data factory linked service uh, data set input data set output then we are going to create uh, the pipeline with copy activity that will be type of copy and copy activity we are creating and then the, we are defining the source we are defining the sync and we are disabling the staging because we don't need the staging the input data set we are giving the output giving so this is how a bicep template look like where we can define all the things and we can 
save this template and we can run this using PowerShell. So let's create this one. So we are going to create resource group with name Softwidge Bicep RG and location will be East US. If we go into our resource group list in this subscription, we do not have that name. Bicep name is not there. We will use that one. Before that one, we will run couple of commands for setting the cons context and correcting our subscriptions and account that we will do and let me run this command it will ask for details i will provide the details for my user details and then i will set up the contest where we are going to create and this subscription id will be that we can get from this subscription id 52d something which is coming here guid now we can go and create a new resource group let's create the new resource group soft which bicep rg it is done let's go inside our resource group list and let's see that so right now we are not able to see that one it takes some time because that is a sync operation so so softwidge bicep rg came now there is no resources now i am going to submit a resource group deployment in this resource group and template file which we just saw into bicep and saved that one so let's run this okay so it says that uh, bicep to your path let's see what it says so we need to install the bicep i guess bicep is not installed let me go ahead and quickly check that what it says because parameter we do not need so we need to install bicep tool into visual studio code we installed that okay so let's see that PowerShell. So, okay, so PowerShell does not install Bicep CLI. So, we need to install. So, let's go click quickly into Bicep CLI thing. And it says that in Windows, we can use this one Choco install or download. Let's download that and run Bicep setup. Okay now it is done let me restart this and let's go and okay now we can change this one to we can go into soft page usage where our file is there so let's connect this command You can now connect it. Now let's set up that our context. We have already created this uh, resource group. So let me go ahead and run this time. Now it is running here, I guess. We can go and see inside our deployment. So right now main is deploying. We can see that more details from here. That what was the input? Input we did that this is the data factory name will be created. All this is coming. And then we can go and see the what will be the output and template, what template we submitted. We can go and see the more details. That is what template we have submitted. So it is still running. So let this run. So this is succeeded and here also if we see this uh, this is succeeded now if we go inside our this group we should be able to see this two resources because we are created first we created storage and then we created our data factory so if we go into storage let's go first into storage and this why storage name is like that one because if we go into our template how we did that one this is the parameter if we did not pass that one it will take the unique string from resource group id and all this resource id will be connected with the storage and then blob and data factory that is how that name is there and if we go into container let's go inside this container and let's upload one file for 
pipeline to check that one and let's upload in file and let's put inside folder input folder which we can do now we can see in that in folder inside that there is no output folder right now but let's see that if we go inside our data factory and launch studio is data factory created by bicep so let's go inside see what other thing is created because we have done that one saying that one so if we go into linked services we see that our link service has been created with whatever storage name account name has been created with bicep we can go and test connection test connection is successful if we go inside the author tab we see that two data set has been created and both are there if we see the test connection from here also it will work data set output is in there output folder it will do right now output folder was not present so we can see that let's go into pipeline pipeline we have my copy activity which has source and sync now we can go ahead and this activity has been created we can go ahead and trigger to see if it is running fine or not let's go to monitor tab and or we can go from view pipeline here and let's see that so this is succeeded it means that everything was correct one file has been copied if we go inside our storage let's go to our storage and in storage we should be able to see now output file inside this one yeah so we should be able to see this one so yeah we are able to see the data and other things so that is what we wanted to have this in demo that how to create using bicep and how to run that one thank you